Hello and welcome to Engineering Deathmatch, a very special cross-continental edition of Engineering Deathmatch. Today we have Daniel Dano Dibs from Sweden. Da uh, Daniel, how you doing? Hey, uh, John, doing well today, thank you. Hey, tell us a little bit about yourself, Daniel. Yeah, sure. So uh, my day job is uh, that I'm a senior network architect and uh, I'm here to give uh, Steve a good run for his money today. So we'll see what he's got today. So you say your day job like you might have a night job. Is there a night job that we should know about here at Engineering Deathmatch? <laughs> I'm not sure you want to know about that job. So oh, we might have to dig into this later. Up next, we have Captain Steve McGarrett, Ocho Grosso. Steve, how are we doing? I'm doing good, Dan. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Tell me a little bit about yourself, other than being a character on Hawaii Five O today. Well, yeah, that's the highlight of my life. <laughs> I am an over-caffeinated senior network engineer. I'm here to see how many... Over-caffeinated uh, senior network engineer. Um, anything, what do you think about, about Daniel? You think he's going to be a, a tough match for you today? Well, we'll see. I've, I've, I've had a lot of coffee, so we'll see how many typos I make. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to hear the challenge, hear the, the intro to the challenge? Yep. All right, here we go. iHeart Routers, a high-end woodworking tool supplier and cloud services provider, is having trouble routing their network. They've contracted you to troubleshoot and fix the issue. For your efforts, they will give you a beautifully crafted wooden mallard duck. All you have to do is use their tools to pull it out of the block of wood that they give you. Does that sound doable, guys? I want yep. that duck. Sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, well, you know, before we get started, you, in these boxes here, you guys are kind of looking a little bit, a little bit Brady Bunch. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not going to have Brady Bunch on Engineering Deathmatch. Absolutely not. I'm going to stop it right here. Let's go <laughs> ahead and get moving on. Prizes for this episode have been provided by Skyline ATS. For information on technical training options, go to skyline-ats.com. For challenge details and solutions, go to engineeringdeathmatch.com slash S1E3. All right, contestants, on your mark, get set, go. I uh, kind of feel bad for iHeart routers. Um, looks like they got a couple problems. Um, definitely looks like a challenging scenario here. Multiple VRFs, multiple routing protocols. I'm sure Dan is going to give me a run from my knowledge here, um, being a CCIE and all, so let's see how this goes. I think I'm definitely in trouble for this one, but we'll see what we can do. John and Doug in the booth here. Doug, we've got representation from Sweden and the US. Will this match tell us which country's technical talent reigns supreme? Of course not, John. What? We've got, we've got representatives from both countries. Yes, and while they're both very talented, they weren't chosen to represent their respective countries. Are, are you sure that's how it works? Definitely, John, I'm sure. So Doug, you built out this challenge, so maybe you can go over some of the issues that our challengers are gonna face um, while trying to complete it. 
Well, John, the first issue is that the hub switch is set to protected mode on the ports connecting router 2 and 3. This means they will need to change their OSPF network type in order to make it work. Additionally, because of how BGP is designed, Router 2 and Router 3 do not receive routes within their own AS path, and contestants will need to bypass this to change that behavior. Just looked through this uh, scenario real brief here, and uh, it looks to be a bit challenging, we'll see. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting Steve today, I think he's a tricky guy, so I'll have to do my best today to keep up with Steve here and try to solve this scenario as quickly as possible. Okay, contestants, I'm sorry to interrupt your flow, but the director of IT at iHeart Routers has just contacted me and asked if you could, he knows what you're doing is important, but if you could also, he's about to go into a meeting with the CIO of iHeart Routers, and he needs to have all of the serial numbers and names of the devices that you guys are working on, those four devices. If you could email those to my email address, um, sorry to interrupt your flow, but, but he needs this right now. He's about to go into this meeting. He's a needy guy, huh? Talk about a change of opinion. Yeah, real flip-flop. What'd you say earlier? I uh, kind of feel bad for iHeart routers. So which is it, Steve? While you think about it, Doug, can you give us an overview of how to fix the issues in this challenge? Well, John, they need to add the command IP OSPF network point to multipoint on all three routers. And then at the end of the BGP neighbor command on R2 and 3, that's where you need to add the allow as in keyword to make it all work. I am doing a web conference, so <laughs> Looks like Steve's getting a little outside help there. I think we may need to dock some points. I don't know, John. I think you're getting a little paranoid there. Besides, we don't have any points. How are you doing over there, Dan? <laughs> yeah, trying to figure this out. Okay. Alright, looks like Daniel has the first part of the challenge. Now he just needs to tackle the second half. It kind of took a while to figure out that there was some kind of layer 2 trickery going on, so... So, uh, basically we had some kind of hub and spoke topology, so then it finally clicked that I needed to use the point to multi point network type to get the slash 32 prefixes into the routing table and uh, achieve uh, my routing that way. Uh, the whole MPLS, multi-VRF, uh, service provider scenario uh, you know, definitely did throw me off and uh, did trip me up for a while.
Let's switch over to Daniel, where he's posing a question to our demonic lab proctor, John Major. Whoa, John Major just gave him the equivalent of a lab proctor stiff arm. Let's see how he reacts. Okay, can you check my configuration? <laughs> and we have a winner. Congratulations, Daniel. You're the winner of episode three of Engineering Deathmatch. Uh, we have a GoPro Hero 4 uh, provided by Skyline, so congratulations. Thanks, John. I have to say that it was quite a challenging lab. Yes, and while they're both very talented, they were... Ch they, ah, sorry. <laughs>